Is Dwarf Fortress the most difficult video game ever made? No, I'm asking you, I really need your help. Dwarf Fortress is madness. Please. We had, we have shallow metals, deep metals, and flux stone. When Dwarf Fortress was first explained to me, I was excited and confused and incredulous. The elevator pitch is tough. It's like SimCity, but with text graphics and dwarves who mine and wear geckos, and the world generation process itself will just throttle your CPU because, by the way, it generates an entire world at the start of the game. Now, right now, it's randomly generating the whole world. Um, it'll be making, it's listing how many uh, areas have been rejected, and that's where the randomly generated area didn't quite meet the Re uh, requirements for an area to be valid. So that screen is, for most players, your first experience with Dwarf Fortress. An ASCII world hurtling through time, generating a storied history that you have to read like a book. It, this shows you how much depth this game goes into. This is all procedurally generated. Nothing of this is standard. Every dwarf in your world has a unique history. Likes and dislikes that have real bearing on your success in the game which, by the way, involves using those dwarves to mine and then defending your fortress from goblins. The spearmen are basically going in there. Uh, everybody's getting killed. Everybody who I've just added is getting killed. Wary wizard, you, you've actually... You, you've managed to become a wrestler. So you may have noticed something there, which is that that video didn't look like the other videos before it, and that's because some people have built graphic packs that you can download and use to better see and understand the game. They're like the glasses in they live, but for mining and defending a fortress against goblins. What's your problem? Have, have I explained myself yet? I feel like I have explained absolutely nothing. Dwarf Fortress is not just a tough and an ugly game, it's also kind of an important game. It's been independently developed by a two-man team since 2002. It's free to download and it's donation supported. The Museum of Modern Art has seen fit to include it in its collection, and it's basically the reason that Minecraft exists. Marcus Pearson has been vocal about the influence of Dwarf Fortress on Minecraft literally calling it a clone. A bit of a digression, but was that a local ad in Toronto or do you guys know that ad? Please let me know in the comments. So what I'm trying to say is the Dwarf Fortress seems like it's too difficult and weird to be truly influential. And yet, it heavily influenced the third best-selling video game of all time, which is not bad for a video game that mostly looks like this. We'll just go back to the next one, go across, another competent miner, let's go across to this one and make this one a, a woodcutter. A game this immersive I know is not well suited to a video like this, it's just not built for my quick and quippy vibes. But over a million people have downloaded it, and the physics engine designed by brothers Zach and Tarn Adams, who make the game, has been praised by everyone from Wired to the New York Times. Literally all of the time and effort that goes into updating Dwarf Fortress goes into making its systems more like the real world. The passage of geologic time, mineral deposits, rainfall, drainage and erosion, and also were elephant attacks. There, okay, there's, where's the were elephant though? Where are you were elephant? Let's try that one more time. Oh wait, there he is. A lot of Dwarf Fortress devotees will claim that the crummy graphics are part of the appeal, but it's more interesting to imagine a were elephant attack than to actually see one. And while the open nature of the game has allowed you to make and use graphic packs, it'll always kind of look like Dwarf Fortress. This will not ever be Minecraft. Here's our pit of doom in the unfinished uh, bridge. <laughs> What do you think? Could Dwarf Fortress ever be popular? Is that even the point? Is it the most complicated game ever? Or what is the most complicated game you've ever played? Let me know in the comments, and I want to give a huge tip of the hat to Reddit user Scrubs2009, who desperately tried to explain this game to me on the This Exists subreddit, going so far as to make a game where I battled some were geckos. I hope I did okay. Subscribe for new episodes of This Exists every week, and be excellent to each other.